Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Today, I will be breaking down the latest roadmap update, letting you know what has changed. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. So only a small update this week for the roadmap, but some interesting changes nonetheless. Firstly, for the progress tracker, there are a couple of features being removed and a couple of new features being added. Now, it mentions that for the Planet Tech team, higher priority was placed on the continuing work on the internal tools that allow for far quicker generation of planet terrain, foliage, bodies of water, and more. In addition to the two new deliverables being the foliage shader and ocean shader improvements, which I will talk about in a second, due to the priority on these, the terrain snow displacement and destructible environments were removed from the progress tracker temporarily until they are properly prioritized and rescheduled for production. So a bit of a shame about these two features as both of them I was quite interested in seeing come to fruition. They do sound pretty cool being able to move snow around as you walk through it and obviously destructible environments are going to be hella fun with grenade launchers and so on. Uh, but the work for proving out and improving the tool is more important in my eyes as it's going to allow them to create planets much quicker, which once static server meshing is in, is going to become even more important. Now, the two new additions both sound pretty interesting in themselves. We have the first one, which is foliage shader, and this says creating the ability to replace most current vegetation assets materials with foliage shader versions as needed. This will both improve the general quality of foliage and vegetation, as well as allow for variation between seasons and climate conditions. Now, this was added to the Planet Tech team schedule, with its work kicking off towards the end of this month and finishing around late May. So, a very cool new addition, and I am so happy that they are planning to create seasons on planets, as this will have a lot of impact on players in many areas beyond just looking cool as we get to see these planets change from season to season. But for example, farming or simply harvesting certain plants and knowing where to find them at different times of that planet's year. Really excited to see this come along and it doesn't seem like we're going to be waiting too long. Hopefully once the work on this is done, it won't be long until it starts rolling out. Now, the next deliverable is called the Ocean Shader Improvements, which is reworking the current ocean shader to use more physically accurate refraction and reflection with energy conservation, unifying the feature set with other water shaders and balancing performance between orbital and close-up situations. Again, this feature is added to the Planet Tech team schedule to begin work mid to late May, and it lasts 25 weeks so finishing around early November. Another nice new addition that should improve the oceans on all planets, but likely a little way off yet. Now to finish with, the planet content team is now being merged with the EU Sandbox 2 team, which is a newly added team as of this week, with it saying the planet content team's data will now end in quarter one this year, but will be maintained on the roadmap as a reference. However, their deliverables have been moved over to the EU Sandbox team too, and this new team has also been added under the upstream teams on the roadmap companion guide, which I will link in the description below if you'd like to get more information on what the roadmap is and how it works. Now, looking at the progress tracker for the EU Sandbox 2 team, they are currently focused on the new cave archetypes, the pyro system, planet and mission setup, and underground facilities. And so hopefully by unifying the teams, they can work quicker together, pushing out more planetary content for us all. But there you have it. As I say, not the biggest of roadmap updates, and the Misk Hule and RSI Scorpius are still showing as tentative on the release viewer. But I am remaining confident that at least the Hule will come with the live release of 317. The Scorpius, I'm a little more skeptical about. This could be a 317 one, maybe holding on till Invictus around May, I think. But it does appear to be still on track for release. So fingers crossed they both come with 317, but we will see. Anyway, with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing. Also, do check out the video linked in the description to learn more about how you could win a VKB gunfighter stick. All the details are in that video. 
Come and hang out over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. We will certainly be talking roadmap 317 while probably playing some 316.1. You are all more than welcome. And if you are new to the verse, it is a great place to ask your questions. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. It does do the channel a big favor. And tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified anytime my videos go live. Again, huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.